The NFL offseason wrapping up USA Today Sports. Nate Davis handed out report cards for each NFC team's performance. Here are the NFC East grades. They might surprise you. Redskins B, Eagles B minus, Giants C plus, and those Cowboys a C plus as well. Skip Bayless, your mm. thoughts on uh, your Cowboys getting a C plus? Stephen A. Smith, I want to preface my remarks by saying. I have respect for Nate Davis, who covers pro football for USA Today. I read him often, and I admire his work. All that said, I'm going to give Nate a C- minus for giving my Dallas Cowboys a C+, plus because I do not get it. Let's start with the draft. Jerry Jones walked away from last year's draft, ultimately with three first-round picks. How could he do that? Well, he took a couple of risks that I don't think will be all that risky because the first player he picked, Byron Jones, freaky, freakish athlete from UConn. Huskies. Perfect. Yeah, you, uh, there you go. Sorry, we good. got a Husky yeah, here. Yeah, you do. Was just what the doctor ordered for his defense as a cornerback. That's a safe pick. Randy Gregory in the second round, bottom of the second round, I realize he comes with some baggage, but I love it that our Herm Edwards has become a mentor to Randy Gregory. That's fair. Best pass rusher in the ed edge rusher in the draft. Would have been maybe a top five pick without his incidents you, you at think Nebraska. think Randy Gregory would have went ahead of Leonard Williams? Yeah, okay. I do. Okay. I, I mean, but I don't consider Leonard Williams a pass rusher. Gotcha. I, I consider him a defensive tackle, okay. just a force in the middle. I don't know. That's, that's a toss up. Yes. Randy Gregory, best edge rusher in the draft. Okay. Lyle Collins, obviously, had his issues that we've he talked and talked it about. Was, it was unfair. Uh, it was he didn't completely have, unfair. He didn't have any issues. But he became a street it. free agent right. that Jerry just flat out stole, I thought. Okay. So, so now you added a top ten pick to the best offensive line in all of pro football, so you strengthened your strength. And now, Greg Hardy, I realize there is behavioral risk here, but you want to talk about stealing somebody? on salary Jerry stole him also and if he shapes up and flies right and stays straight he's one of the best pass rushers in pro football if not the best pass rusher mm -hmm. in pro football and as we all know after six games we don't know how this is all going to shake out because they're still pursuing this but he's going to be a Dallas Cowboy then I see that the, the Green Bay Packers that you love got a B plus just for signing their own so shouldn't my Cowboys get a little respect well, for signing their own that's the strongest point that you made the fact that they should get some respect for or and credit for signing their own I do agree with you mm -hmm. there and but, by the way those two are obviously Des Bryant eliminating right. a huge distraction and slipping under the radar Cole Beasley got locked up for a long Cole term. Beasley got He's becoming up. as dangerous a slot receiver as there is I a do agree. I do agree with Thank that you. as well. He's somebody to keep your eyes on. I like Cole Beasley a lot, mm -hmm. and you know how I feel about my man Des Bryant. You lost Justin Durant. You lost uh, this, this, this kid, George Selvey. You lost Anthony Spencer. You don't know how healthy Sean Lee is going to be. Let's call it what it is. Okay? But he is but, healthy but, but, at but, this but moment. But he is healthy at this moment. Yeah. Where I agree with the C-plus is because of the abundance of question marks. Greg Hardy is a question mark. Randy Gregory is a question mark. We talk about dudes that are getting, potentially get suspended, okay? These are question marks that you can ignore. And then when you take into account the fact that you lost a DeMarco Murray, let me reemphasize why the loss of DeMarco Murray mm -hmm. is so devastating. <clears throat> 392 carries, mm -hmm. 57 receptions. Combined 449 touches. See, to me, this notion that we can do whatever it is that we want to do because we've got the best offensive line in football mm -hmm. is that that's where things get very, very interesting. Because mm -hmm. you know my feeling about the Dallas Cowboys. Accident waiting to happen. Whatever can go wrong will at the most opportune of times or inopportune of times. I told you before the playoffs, I said to you uh, flat out, it could be the regular season, it could be the playoffs, it could be until the Super Bowl. But mark my words, when something needs to go wrong, it will. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, it like did they with, get the robbed catch, in with the catch. It was that wasn't a catch. their doing. It was a they catch. weren't an accident. What I'm, what I'm trying to they say, got robbed. What I'm trying to say to you is that we feel he got robbed because mm -hmm. we think the rule is bogus. Mm -hmm. But the rule was on the books. 
us and the rule in the NFL's eyes was accurately applied. Mm -hmm. So as a result, it sort of fell in line with my credo of accident waiting to happen yeah. because it's the Cowboys. Like and so stretch. now you could call it a stretch all you want to, but it's never a stretch with the Dallas mm -hmm. Cowboys because repeatedly something gets in their way and it's usually themselves. When I think about Randy Gregory, when I think about a Greg Hardy, I think question mark. When I think about a DeMarco Murray letting him go, not only do you let him get away, you let him get to the Eagles. Mm -hmm. I think that was a mistake. When you think about bringing in Darren McFadden, who's injury prone, and then you've got Randall, and you've got Dunbar, question mark. And as a result of that, Tony Romo mm -hmm. is going to have more of the onus placed on his shoulder. Now, you gave him a, a reprieve for a year because you took some of the load off of him and you just threw it on the back of DeMarco Murray and tried to run him into the ground, okay? But now, Tony Romo, Mr. $55 million in guaranteed yep. dollars, Mr. $108 million man, he's got to show up and earn his money, especially since they made the the $70 million investment in Des Bryant mm -hmm. that involved the $20.5 million signing bonus and $32.5 million in salary. You've got to sit there and, you know, and, 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 you know, sign a bonus and salary, all of that. Mm -hmm. I'm saying to you, when you look at all of that for Des Bryant, you've got to validate it between him and Tony Romo by making sure Tony Romo drops back to pass and throws that football. Especially when Tony Romo said to you, give me an offensive line. Let's do this, and I'll come through for you. So to me, that all plays into the hands mm -hmm. of the Dallas Cowboys, reverting back to what they were prior to last season. Mm -hmm. And that's where the C-plus comes in. Had you kept the Marco Murray, then that would be different, because what you're saying is the formula that we incorporated last year worked you know, to perfection for us, as far as we concerned, 1,845 yards rushing, mm -hmm. the rushing NFL, top running attack, et cetera, et cetera. Now you've gone away from that because I don't believe McFadden, Randall, and Dunbar will be relied upon as mm -hmm. heavily, which is going to put more of the onus on Tony Romo. That plays right into my hands, mm -hmm. which is why I say it's a C plus. It would have been a higher grade if you had kept mm -hmm. with what you were doing last year. Clearly, you're not going to do that this year round. First of all, DeMarco Murray took hundreds and hundreds of hits last year. He will not be the same this year, which is why he was a bad bet for Jerry Jones to give Dez's money to DeMarco. Let the Eagles take that risk because they will pay for that risk. He's not going to be what he was last year, <clears throat> certainly not running behind the Dallas Cowboy offensive line versus the Eagles offensive Allow line. Allow me to interject with that. Skip Bayless. At the time that DeMarco Murray, it was very early in the season, when you looked at DeMarco mm -hmm. Murray, you said, this guy, is he's bringing it, baby. That's what you said. I'm saying to you, you could not have had the foresight to see, rather than run him into the ground, he is somebody that we can sit there and we can preserve rather than give him 390. Nope. Hold on, let me finish. Rather than give him 392 carries. How about give him 292 carries or something along those lines? Let Dunbar or Randall run the football more because I think it's Dunbar. If I, I'm sorry, I think it's Randall. It's either Randall or Dunbar that averaged about 6.7 yards. Randall. Rush. It was Randall. So yeah. I'm sitting there saying to you, if you have that going on, you could have preserved DeMarco Murray, because it's not just about this season, it's mm -hmm. about the future. But since they have been out of the playoffs for four years, mm -hmm. losing every division opponent they could find in the last regular season game of the season three years in a row to all three different teams within their division, what happens is they were so desperate to make the playoffs, they ran DeMarco Murray How in were, the ground. The, and in my opinion... They couldn't keep him? Well, again... Philly a, way overpaid for DeMarco but, but, Murray but, but, at his age and stage but, 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 but they way overpaid for him because they're thinking about the 845 yards rushing. I think had the Marco Murray not been used up as much, ran ran significantly less, I don't think that the Eagles would have came and gave him that money because they would have looked at his level of production. They would have said, you know how this NFL works. They would have said 1,845. Well, what if he just ran for 1,400 yards? What if he just ran for 1,300 yards? He wouldn't have got the same money. And as a result, he would have been somebody that wouldn't have had that money in a free agent market. The Dallas Cowboys could have been able to keep mm -hmm. him, but they had no intention of paying him. Okay. They had no intention of paying him. Here's why. You were under estimating how great, I mean great, that Darren McFadden can be next year. He had a monster college career. Yes, he did. He has a good relationship with Jerry Jones because Jerry's a big Arkansas booster. Yes, I know all Arkansas, that. Okay? He was never quite happy. You have called the Oakland Raiders a 
football atrocity. They are Am a I right? Atrocity. Okay, thank you very much. I, I, I really, really so they he to... was beat up. He couldn't stay healthy. But the one year that he did stay healthy in 2010, he had 1,664 total yards from scrimmage. That's pretty this, good. This, this is college. No, at the Raiders in 2010. Okay. Yeah, in 2010. How many? Uh, so, so let me get this straight, Skibelis, because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm I'm at a loss. Yeah. I'm, at, I'm at a loss. Help me out, Ma Molly. I need your help. I, I think you're struggling. Hey, what you're no, 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 no. I, I need your help because something just uh, an epiphany hit me. Mm -hmm. um, could y'all turn off that B-roll, please? I need the camera on me at this moment in time. Forget all the highlights because uh, 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 an epiphany hit me. Mm. When we were talking about the quarterbacks last year. Mm -hmm. Skip Bayless specifically said, when I brought up Aaron Rodgers winning a Super Bowl, <laughs> oh my Lord, I don't even remember. What year was that? 2010. Oh, but now that it's come to Darren McFadden, we oh. can remember oh, wait, wait, wait. 2010. Oh, we're now we're pretty well, Darren McFadden the same sense but, but, with no, Aaron Rodgers? No, 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 no. Aaron no, no, Rodgers' no, no, stock no, no, is no, no, going no, down, no, down, no, no, down, down. No, no, now no, Aaron no, Rodgers no, is no, compared he, to he, he's Darren McFadden. Molly, he's interrupting because he knows I got him. Oh, you didn't get me. You got you. Ernestine is watching. Yeah, right now, I know she is. She's Everybody's watching. You. You know, let me just. Skip Bayless had amnesia when it came to the Super Bowl MVP. You're in talking about the guy you said but, the best but, quarterback in football. Allow me to finish. But now you remember oh. what Darren McFadden. Oh. So I don't remember what Aaron Rodgers oh. did in 2010, but I remember oh. what Darren McFadden did oh. in 2010. You are so, oh. you're caught. You got you're, caught. You're caught. Uh, amnesia. Oh. Where's the amnesia now, Skip? So you do remember what happened well, in 2010. That was a lame reach. It, it, I gotta it, tell it, you. I'm sorry, no, no. The issue is you. You do remember what happened in 2010 after all, don't you? You remember that because of Darren McFadden. I just, I just because looked of Darren McFadden. this morning oh, because I have to remember. It. I knew we had oh, one DC year Darren local. McFadden. Is Wait, was, he, was Aaron Rodgers really in 2010? It seems like it was There we go. See, see what I'm saying? Yeah. This is what he does. Oh, this is what yeah. he does. I'm trying to tell you. Darren McFadden, tell you. Aaron Rodgers. Nope. Nope. Yep, Has they're nothing on, to do with they're that. They're on par. It's 2010. Here they are. It's 2000. You can remember Darren McFadden in 2010, but not Aaron Rodgers. That's my point. But here's the point. Darren McFadden can ball. I am not questioning his skill set at all. Mm -hmm. I got serious questions about that durability. Mm. And you know it, which is why you didn't rave about his arrival when it happened. You said it's a good pick he could play, but I don't know because I'm blah, 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 blah. Oh, really? Yeah. You, you seem to like every cowboy mm -hmm. more and more and more. And by Wait, the way, really? Joseph Randall? Issues off the field, I'll be the first to admit. Oh, please. Listen, listen, listen. Eight yards listen, of carry Listen, lessons. listen. Eight Joseph Randall, wow. the only problem is the, the brother don't need to be stealing perfume uh, from the apartment store. That's his only problem. Uh, There's no big deal, that. but it was embarrassing, but it was no big deal. He doesn't have off-field problems. Just take the, 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 put some cologne on before you leave. So, okay, okay so bottom right. line, you got the Cowboys finishing, what, third in the NFC? No, I told yes, you. Yes, you do. I, no, I told you, plus. No, I told you before that they would win the division by default. I'm not By so, default? I'm not, even though I listened to my man Michael Smith this morning on Mike and Mike, I am not sold on what Chip Kelly is doing in Philadelphia. I'm certainly not sold on the Washington Redskins with Gruden and those boys. And the New York Giants, I got questions about their defense, but more importantly, their offensive line. I think that they have the receivers. I think with Eli Manning and those three wideouts, they could do big time damage mm -hmm. with Randall, with Odell Beckham Jr., with Victor Cruz. But I got questions about the offensive line and if they can't protect Eli Manning, mm. it's going to be a problem. So by virtue of default, mm. I think the Cowboys are in a better position to win the division this mm. year. That's I mean I am not I'm not I'm gonna be fair to the Cowboys. I think they're gonna win it by virtue of defense, not default. Defense. Okay. It's be way better well than you got six year. games within your division. As mm -hmm. far as I'm concerned the Cowboys should win five of them. Mm. They should win five of Good. those six well games. that means they're a Super Bowl contender. Then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, we if, you, if your definition of a Super Bowl contender, somebody making the playoffs, you're right. Oh. But do I think they're going? They're going to beat Seattle? Nope, not this year. I think Seattle's going to get them back. Oh, they got do them I think, last Do year I think they're going to beat good. Green Bay in the playoffs? Yeah. I do not. I do. I do not. Yeah. I do not. This and year, fact, at and if Carson Palmer stays healthy, I don't know if they're going to beat Arizona. Mm. 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 That's right, I said it. I think they had a B in that article. I know we focused on the NFC East. The only team to receive an A, the Dolphins. Very interesting. So you can check out the rest in USA Today. Nate Davis Yeah, I'll check there. it out. Jordan Spieth's historic run cut short at St. Andrews. But how many more in store for the 21-year-old? We'll discuss that after the break.